Oh, why do you use headphones? Oh, hello. Chapter 3. Okay. Oh, oh this is y'all getting up. This is Femfetel. Ivy. You see how I am. It's been a long morning so far. I've been doing background checks and research on Mr. Evergreen, reading everything there is about him on the internet. Yeah. To name a few things, he's 27 years old. I don't know, looks like Oh, damn near 30, shit. He's engaged to a gorgeous model named Julia Lambert. I like JoJo. Um, his favorite color is green, of course. Girl, your phone out like shit, girl. Okay. Yes. Um, Miss Fatel, it's Daniel Smith. We're ready to start the mission, so I need you to make an appointment with Tristan Evergreen. Tristan Evergreen. Can you do that? Of course I can. Um, I'll get right to it. I suppose he takes great interest in potential sponsors, so I might even get an appointment today. Can you and Lucas get ready for that if he asks me? Of course. You take the lead now. We'll be at your uh, service. Also, you need to tell us what name we should use. They might do a background check on you, so we have to put some false information out there about you. <laughs> we'll make a fake news article about how you inherited a lot of money uh, from a grandmother you never met. And uh, that'll give you a, a lot of credibility. We'll make sure he doesn't suspect the thing, but which name should we use? I'll just use my my name, Rachel, but I need another surname, which is a last name, you guys. I can't use a, a, a girl, whatever the hell, Aragati, I think. <laughs> what should be my surname? Mm. Um, Rachel. Uh, Rachel. You know what? I'm going to put my son's middle name, Rachel Jordan. It's cool. Perfect. You're good to go. Talk to you later, Miss Face. I'll keep me posted. I'd better call Mr. Evergreen right away. Real valley girlish today, you guys. <laughs> How does this thing work? Is it on? Oh shit! Hello, Evergreen Corporation. This is Kelly. May I? Oh, may I help you? Hello, this is Rachel Jordan. I'm calling because I saw Mr. Evergreen on the news a few days ago, and I would like to hear more about this sponsorship. Oh, I see. In that case, let me put you through to Mr. Evergreen. Hold on a second, Miss Jordan. Thank you. This mission was not all that different from my other missions, as a femme fatale, yet still I felt my palms getting sweaty. Mm, why? Why is that? Probably because he's quite famous and he is engaged. That's always more of a challenge when either of the two things are involved. Unfortunately, both of those things are involved this time. I'm going to have to be the best version of my femme fatale I can be. This one is really going to be a challenge. I'm going to have to really play on his interests. Make him think that I'm his actual soulmate. Ugh. I have to figure out their differences. What they argue about when they argue. I have to play them up against each other. Hello, Miss Jordan? Oh, shit. Girl, you always in some deep thought. <laughs> I put on my most seductive voice. A little raspy, a little deeper than how I usually talk, of course, with a hint of desire. <laughs> oh, 
um, Miss Jordan, actually, Mr. Evergreen. It's nice to meet. Well, nice to talk to you. Um, um, we can be allowed to play on Miss Looks. I really admire your work, and I must admit, it's a pleasure seeing you on TV, too. Haha, <laughs> you're flattering, Miss Jordan. You're flattering me, Miss Jordan. Tristan thinks you're charming. Yeah. <laughs> so. Did my secretary inform me correctly when you said, uh, when said you might be interested in being a sponsor for the Ocean Project? Yes, she did. I found out I inherited quite a sum of money from my old, from an old relative. I didn't really know. Honestly, I'm doing quite well without her, uh, money. So I'm looking for the perfect project to donate the money to. I would love to hear more about your project. I'm honored about the fact that you're considering the Ocean Project. Will you maybe have time to stop by the Evergreen, Evergreen Corporation today or tomorrow? Today will be great. Thank you. I can be there in an hour. Um, would that be okay with you? That would be perfect. Just give your name to the secretary and she'll let me know when you've arrived. Obviously. Oh, well. Thank you, Miss Evergreen. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Perfect. Now I need to find something to wear. Something serious yet sexy and seductive. Oh, look at this closet, girl. You make you love a bit of money. Who? I, I hate this closet because I got women and men clothes in here. And she's just like single as fuck. First few years after my family mur uh, was murdered, fashion didn't mean a thing to me. I thought it was only shallow people who were into fashion, and I didn't understand the hype. It was first when I started my training as a femme fatale that I began to, that wait, that it began to mean something to me. It was both an escape from who I was and what happened to me. Also, a way for me to do my job better because feeling confident is very important. Today I have quite a collection of fancy dresses and shoes from all the right designers. I can also afford it. I must admit my job pays well. <laughs> girl better pay goddamn very well. You up here, girl, this is, this is, <laughs> you're murdering people, bitch. This is life sentences. Okay. Okay, let's see what we need to wear. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what, see what that, that blue and purple be like. Oh, girl. No. You get serious and short. Uh, no. Let's see. Mm. Okay. Yeah. No. And let's let's try this. Pink and black, but girl, oh, please don't y'all stress. This is just, uh, God, now we're gonna go with the, the black and red. We'll go with the dark and mysterious girl, even though I hate these fucking shoes she got on. Yep, I think I'm ready. <laughs> I spotted Lucas next to a car over by the parking lot. He was reading on his phone and haven't noticed me yet. This gave me a chance to really take a good look at him and observe him. It's part it's part of the job. I need to memorize every detail about him. Hmm. He was dressed in a, in black ripped jeans, a loose white t shirt, and a denim jacket. His hair was just as messy as the day we met, Avi. His eyes just as dark and mysterious. Pearly white teeth and a muscular body. Oh, God, what am I doing? Jesus, Rachel, get, your <laughs> get yourself together. He's a raven. He's not that good looking. Okay, he is. He is. Maybe I'm just a bit lonely. I should probably get a car or something. Took your time, huh, sunshine? <laughs> um, excuse you. It takes time to look this good. 
<laughs> Maybe you could be covered in mud and still look hot as hell. There you go again. What? I'm just being honest. You might as well go flirt with that fountain over there. That's, wait, it's that useless. <laughs> wow, you don't take compliments very well. Um, depends on who's giving them. <laughs> I just don't, <laughs> don't care about what you think. That's all, girl. It's not like you're, uh, Jamie Durant. I don't James Durant, James, mm, okay, whatever, I don't even know who that is, but I'm pretty sure you just insulted me, which is cool, I like girls who play hard to get, <laughs> you're incredible, I know, like, he's, uh, he's irritated as fuck, <laughs> anyways, I'll be down uh, the street in a van with all sorts of cool spots up. I already checked your earpiece. It should work just fine. We also hacked ourselves into all the security cameras so that we can keep an eye on you. Good. I'm going in. But seriously, keep quiet unless you he unless you can hear I really need you on or your information. You got it, sunshine. Let's see what's popping. I entered the building. I was met by high ceilings, glass doors, and glass elevators. An elegant sign saying Evergreen Corporation was hanging on the wall behind the front desk. Why is she in front of the damn desk? A beautiful red haired woman, probably the secretary, was fiddling with a piece of paper. She had freckles, ocean blue eyes, and her hair was softly, uh, was softly and flatteringly laying on her shoulder. Excuse me. Scared the hell out the little girl. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm sorry. I'm a mess. I can't get this stupid earpiece working. It's just suddenly stopped working, and I've been reading the manual, and I just can't figure it out. Mr. Evergreen is probably already uh, regretting hiring me. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm sorry. It's not your problem, and I shouldn't have been ranting to you about it. Well, about it to you. I apologize, Miss. Maybe I can help you. There you go. As I plugged in the loose cord, the phone started ringing again. I could see that she was very surprised. How did you do that? I noticed that your have a I noticed yours have a cord, which would definitely, which definitely must, would, which definitely, sorry guys, which would definitely be much easier to use if it didn't have one, and your cord had fallen out of the uh, transmitter. I would definitely suggest asking Mr. Evergreen about getting a cordless one. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. You probably just saved my job. I haven't been able to answer any phone calls for the last hour. So, really, thank you. No problem. I'm Rachel Jordan. I have an appointment with Mr. Evergreen. Oh, Miss Jordan. Mr. Evergreen told me to tell you. Tell him. Wait, tell me to tell him as soon as you arrive. I'm so sorry I messed up. Please don't tell him. Don't worry, I won't tell him. It's not your fault. Your EP, your earpiece is cheap and uncooperative. Thank you for all your help and for being so nice to me. It's my first week here, and nobody besides Miss Evergreen has been nice to me. So I'm a bit stressed out, obviously. We're all we've all been the new girl at some point, so don't worry about that, that Miss um, Montreal, Kelly Montreal. Well, Miss Montreal, will you please escort me to Mr. Evergreen's office? I will, Miss Jordan. Follow me. You guys feel like... I feel like... I'm not really into this yet. Like, nothing's happened. Okay, well then, get me a, a thermostat. Well, I need a plastic with at least I don't know what the hell that is and silicone in it okay, there, okay cause I don't know what the fuck he was talking about child 
Um, there he was, the famous Tristan Evergreen. His dominance and confidence was filling the entire room. It actually made me a bit nervous. I don't have much time, so I have to make him fall for me as fast as possible while still being classy. I want him to want to marry me. I don't want him to think of me as a side chick. We don't do those, girl. I want him to really consider marrying Julia. No, reconsider marrying Julia. Uh, make him doubting her and wanting me instead. Thank you. Ah, Miss Jordan, I'm so happy you're here. Thank you, Kelly. No problem, Miss Evergreen. Kelly sent me a warm smile before leaving that she was thanking me yet again. Playing nice isn't hard for me. This job is about acting, too. And if I'm not convincing enough, I won't make it. Oh, I have to make everybody around him love me. Mr. Evergreen, it's nice to meet you. Please call me Tristan. Mr. Evergreen is my dad. Ugh, it makes me feel old. <laughs> I see. Let's play with the hair, girl. You can call me Rachel, then. Hair flip, baby. Us. Anyway, I wrapped my hair around my fingers and you're really waiting for some sort of reaction from him. Me and notice stuff like that. So let me give you a short uh, presentation of my vision. But nothing, honey. It was nothing. There was no reaction on his face that uh could work that I could work with. Either he's or he's either very loyal to his fiance or totally oblivious. Oh, sure. So, as you know, and only uh, potential sponsors and the people working here know, I'm working on a plastic dissolving serum. Something we can put in our ocean without causing harm to the sea, the sea life in the ecosystem. You are cracking up. Like, what the heck are you doing? Like, are you chasing me? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> I will tell you more about it. Uh, must, uh, I'm, but I must tell you that I don't only see my sponsors as sponsors before you becoming a sponsor. Um, I would love for us to be friends. This means so much to me without people like you to sponsor it. It simply wouldn't be possible. Okay, hold on you guys. I need to walk around here. So, I would love to invite you on a weekend trip to Las Vegas where you'll come with me to a conference, a conference, a conference, to <laughs> a conference to stay at some hotel, to stay at the same hotel as me and go out for dinner with me. Okay. We could really talk about the project and I'll answer all of your questions. Of course, it's all on me. Yeah. After that, if you don't want to sponsor us it's fine but i really want to make you feel as appreciated and as safe as you can what do you say i would love to it's a great idea uh i like the idea of getting to know each other first mm -hmm, me too i can see how it makes your uh sponsors feel safe with you it's really considerate of you great uh are you available this weekend already um, I'm sorry if I'm coming on too strong. Joke with them. Let's see. I usually don't let guys take me on weekend getaways without having been on at least one date first. But I'll make an exception with you. I love your sense of humor. I think we'll get along just fine. Thanks. Tristan loves that you make him laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a driver pick you up and drive you to the airport where I will meet you. I can't wait to get to know you, Rachel. He looked deep into the eye. He looked deep into wait. He looked me deep into the eye, the eyes and kept it there just long enough to make my heart beat a little fast, honey. Um, his confidence and straightforward behavior is definitely attractive. I'm really looking forward to it, Tristan. Um, already on first name basis and a few seconds of eye contact, I guess that's all I get from him today. 
I think that was all for today. We can talk about uh, the rest in Vegas. Over a glass of wine, perhaps. Best wine we can find. It was nice meeting you, Rachel. Rachel, you look a little thirsty, baby. It was nice meeting you, too. Here. Here, take a cookie. You welcome. Say thank you. You're so rude. Jeez. Um. Oh, by the way, you might want to get your poor security. I mean, your poor secretary, a, a cordless earpiece. Oh, really? I remember that. Let me escort you out. No, you sit here and get your revolutionary head back to work. I'll find my way out. Okay, then. Talk to you soon, Rachel. Dallas, where are you going? It's crazy. You're trying to follow me, but... My ass is on the floor. Whoa. Okay, after reporting back to Daniel and Lucas about my upcoming weekend with Tristan in a few days, I went straight home. After all, this weekend will probably be best and maybe only time to get him seriously interested in me. I will have to look my best, so I need lots of beauty sleep. This is the easy part. I really have to up my game if I want this guy to fall for me. The whole world might depend on it. On me. Mm. All right, y'all. Well, that was that for episode three. Which one? Yeah, three. On to the next one.